Hey guys, what is up? I am Joe from Workbench and I have a super quick tutorial for you guys today. It's about looping. Yeah, you probably know about looping, right? I mean, hey, you know, you just loop some stuff, right? You got, we got our guy, you know, a little skateboarder guy. He's got a cool, uh, cool yellow dog party skateboard. That's right. Check that out. Use him like a normal, uh, normal loop, right? And we're going to take his comp. Set this up. Okay, we want him to go way fast because that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna do a bunch of little tricks here. Yeah, that fast. Anyway, so what you do, you set your little, actually, let's turn off this scene so this goes a little quicker. Go a little quicker. All right, uh, we're gonna do uh, hint uh, you twice. Sorry, I got my mic in front of me, so sometimes it's hard to hit the keys. But uh, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna set this up. We're going to option click here. We're gonna do loop out. So that's what I'm doing here. And I am going to do cycle and make sure you got that in little quotes and uh, zero because we're going to start from the first keyframe. It's going to cycle. Should just continue going. See? Oh, here's a here's a helpful tip. Okay, so there's some stupid After Effects bug that uh, if all of your layers end exactly at the end of the comp here, for some reason After Effects is looking ahead. Hey, hey, what's up there? And none of these go on. If you do this, oops, don't don't drag any ones that get cut off though. I uh, don't want to do that there. Don't want to do that or that one. I think that's all of them. Drag those out. Watch what happens. Oh look, it, it's working now for some stupid reason. So that's a little uh, little. There's a little s s quick tip within a quick tip. So now we got our guy. He's looping. That's how you do a normal loop, right? But today's trick is a different form of loop that maybe you're not familiar with. Let's say we have these two clouds here, right? They both stop at the end of the comp, but hey, maybe I like the speed of that, right? But I don't want to figure out at this point, how far should that be if it's going to continue moving exactly the same? And the keyword there is continue. Loop out and the type is parentheses continue. Copy that because I'm going to apply it to the other cloud too. So we got continue. Oh, where'd it go? It left. Look what happened. It kept using the same motion. So, my favorite part about this technique is that, other than experience, if you're way down the timeline with your keys, you can't easily tell what the speed is of these clouds. You can go here, set a keyframe, check it. You can even do like, oh, let me change the thing here and make it 200. You can do those kind of things, but that doesn't uh, doesn't work out as well as just seeing it. So I can just move down one frame and say, okay, that's a big jump for that speed, right? You can kind of gauge based on you know the first frame how far something goes and how fast it'll go. So if you take these moving back and you can see, oh, it's only moving a little bit from the beginning or it's moving a lot, you can see that's gonna go real fast because that's one frame in between where it started. If you move it back here, you can see it's gonna go pretty slow. So then you can render it out and check it out. You can go back and do each one independently. This one should have gained on it because maybe the wind here is faster, right? So you can bring this one back and see how that'll go. So now you can go through and get a decent constant motion. You can put other keys in between here so that you can speed this one up to the other one and it'll basically just keep the speed from the one keyframe here to this one. So we can, let's test that out, right? So let's move this here. So you can see it's gonna speed up right here. And there you go. Remember, it's just gonna look at the last two keyframes to determine the speed. So whatever the distance is from here to here, it's gonna basically take that and calculate the speed so that it can continue that motion. I use this technique a lot. I even use it on the little skateboarder guy in this explainer video, actually. So the original is just a movie where he's just in the middle, running, doing his thing, doing a little kick flip, pop shove, you know. And then the main comp that guy's in, it's keyed for his running so that he moves forward. But then these last two keyframes keep up his pace. So he continues on. Loop out continue. Really easy to remember. Super powerful. Make sure to use it. I am Joe from Workbench. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv. Thanks, guys. Bye.